January 2nd for the big debut. It's the new ESPN Radio Rundown. And joining us, Jalen and Jacoby from yes. Radio ESPN2 and the podcast. Good to have you guys on the East Coast. You know, I got a question. I got a question. Oh, oh, no. It's always good to see you, bro. It's always good to see you. We need to talk at some point in time. I mean, Let's talk. I mean, the gazelles. I don't know what the hell. I mean, this it's like, is clean. Like said, no, 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 no. The suit is smoking. The suit is it's smooth. It's smooth. The suit is smooth. The suit is smooth. I'm talking about the glasses. Oh, okay. I mean, you're a good-looking brother, but I'm talking about the glasses, man. I'm like, what the hell is he? What the hell is he be wearing sometimes? Well, here's the thing. These glasses that you're rocking. Oh, you haven't seen some of the other glasses he's worn. He like goggles my on one. They're like, what the hell is he wearing? What is this? Stephen A. It's a Detroit thing. When you see me with the gazelles. That's embracing my hip hop side. When you see me with the Cardis, those are flat out clean. As, 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 as you know, I have a few friends in Detroit. I've been there on many, many occasions. I have never seen those glasses rocked. Some oh, of the stuff what? that you're wearing. Stop I, I'm it. just telling you, Jalen. Stop it. I'm just saying. Helmet. I'm just like, like, <laughs> like the term, what up, though? Cardis <laughs> are an institution in the yeah. city. Uh, I had Emmanuel uh, Stewart pick me up in a gold Rolls uh, Royce at Detroit I'm Airport. And I saw gazelles. <laughs> I mean, Jalen trying to go back to high school, man. I'm like, you know, but we got to talk. I'm buying, I'm buying all of the things oh, I couldn't buy. But the suit is smooth. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm buying all of the things I couldn't buy before I had a black card. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. Two right. together. When did you not have a black car? When did you not have a black car? At Michigan. You know, oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. That was, that was, that was platinum. <laughs> they going to take it back to the platinum I had an ATM there car. There you go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Can we talk some basketball? Let's go. Let's go. Let's you go. Too. All right. Let's go. Trust the process. The Sixers, the new pretty young thing, winning four of their last five, and this young bug squad. Uh, are ready to acquire not just any bet, but the king. According to a USA Today report, the Sixers will target LeBron James this summer. James can opt out of his contract with the Cavs after the 2017-2018 season. And guess what? The Sixers will have room to add a max player yep. to their roster. Stephen A., how much did LeBron actually consider going to Philly? He should consider it strongly. I'm told that he's not. I'm told that it's about Cleveland. Uh, you hear about the bigger markets, but it's really about Cleveland. But anybody that feels like you are inclined not to believe them, Feel free and go right ahead, because guess what? When I look at Ben Simmons' play, and I look at Joel Embiid's play, and I look at the fact that Markel Fultz hasn't even shown up yet, and what he could potentially mean to that squad, and you add LeBron to that mix, Lord have mercy. It would be special. But I can't see him departing his hometown or near his hometown in Cleveland, right up the road from Akron, to go to Philadelphia. L.A., something like that, yeah. Houston, maybe, yeah. I can't see him doing it in Philadelphia, but last night, Maverick Carter was seen with the Sixers owner. Mm. Rich Paul was seen with somebody else, a hierarchy within the Sixers organization. These brothers are smart. They are always thinking ahead, and they are all about business. I don't mean this in a negative sense, but as you all know, come on now, we've been watching them. Their loyalty is to what is good business. Mm. It's not to all this other ancillary stuff. Now, LeBron James is going to take, he's the ultimate decision maker. His family, his wife, his kids, his mom, all of that matters. But in terms of what their agenda is, it's finding out what the best business decision is. And I don't think anyone can ignore the possibility of Philly because of what Maverick Carter said just a few weeks ago, which was, ultimately, you stay relevant and you are able to market and brand yourself even better by winning. Winning championships is good business. Doing it in a huge market is good business. Philadelphia is down low, a little bit of a glamour market because it is such a big market. They got everything south down to D.C., and it's a now major metropolitan area. It's not far from New York City where there's a higher concentration of media than anywhere in the world. And when you look at the basketball of it all, LeBron would stay in the easy east. He would team with two super prospects. Ben Simmons is absurdly good, as is MV. Those are two... You have to go back to Shaq and Penny, maybe, when you got guys that young, potentially that good on the same team. Furthermore, shooting would be an issue because Simmons' shot is broken. Yeah. And LeBron is shooting better, but he's not a pure shooter. Right. And he can shoot well for a big But they break. do here's have J.J. The Reddick. They have Reddick one year, 23 million. But here's the but thing. they him. With that kind of nucleus, all the sharpshooters would want to play with them. So if you, you need two sharpshooters on the floor of them, they'd get them. They'd get them under market. That's always been the history of the league when you team up with that kind of super team. And LeBron would have a championship window because as the Warriors' window starts to close, they'd have the best team in basketball. This is not going to happen. Nope. Right. I don't want to see mercenary LeBron. Neither do we I. We already saw this. He left Cleveland to go to Miami to play with Pierce and Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, a championship pedigree that was there already set by Pat Riley. Then you go home to run with Kyrie and Kevin Love. LeBron James, if he leaves Cleveland, which I don't think it will be, he, he will, it ain't going to be for Philadelphia. They're young, but they're not ready. 
just mm -hmm. yet. Joel Embiid, terrific young prospect. Reminds me of Akeem Olajuwon. Turns over both shoulders, step through, shoot the threes. Big personality, still a little immature. It was 69 jokes to female reporters. He'll grow out of that. Ben Simmons, you mentioned, can't shoot the ball just yet. Primary ball handler, however. What is LeBron? Primary ball handler. They both do the same thing. So I don't see that as being a natural fit. He also is represented by Rich Paul, mm -hmm. who's basically LeBron James's brother. I get all of the business aspect of it, but I don't think this is going to happen. Yeah, it's going to be great conversation. LeBron James ain't leaving his hometown to go run in Philly. You know how bad that would look for him? It's, it's fun to talk about. You brought up Maverick, what Maverick said earlier. And one thing Maverick said is LeBron hasn't made his decision, but his decision will ultimately be about winning. And this team is not a winning team. This is not a championship contending team, even if you add LeBron James to it. Joel Embiid has played 49 basketball games. Ben Simmons has played like 20. And LeBron James needs shooters around him. If they sign Redick, they've got Covington. I love Covington, but like right. he needs to be surrounded by shooters, and that's not going to happen. Oh, there. well, let me interrupt you there. I respectfully disagree. LeBron James goes to Philadelphia. I'm sorry, it's easily Eastern Conference Finals. Easily. Possibly a finals berth. Easily next year. the talent year. that they have because that's how great LeBron is. That's the kind of impact. And not only that, remember that when he first went to Miami, Bosh and D-Wade weren't shooters. But everyone wanted to be there. The Mike Millers, the Ray Allens of the world. Because when you had that nucleus, that trio was just, listen, I'm going to park, all right? And I'm sitting up there, I want to play all day. I need a crew. Jalen Rose come rolling up in the... Let's go. So I'm, I'm, I'm picking him because I, I got, I'm, I'm trying to beat him. All right, so I got to question. By the way, Duke sure. isn't shooting the three right again, now, right? I agree with you. I don't believe it's going to happen right. either. Right. But I'm just saying, player. this but, notion that but, they ain't going to win with him. Oh, no, Philadelphia but, but, would but be a lot, But a lot of this conversation is because Philadelphia is the flavor of the moment. They're actually exactly. fifth in the East. That's right. Who are the second and third best players in the East? Mm. Kyrie, Kyrie and Greek Freak. That's right. We're not talking about him going to play with them. Oh, uh, right. I would say I, you're right. I, I would say, given how good Ben Simmons already, that. That, and that, given how good Ben Simmons, Simmons already is, point, exactly. he's okay. in that. He, ben Simmons could be in that category next year. Correct. As a second-year player, we could start saying, you know, Greek Freak probably still ahead of him. He's more, he's more experienced. But Ben Simmons starting to make moves on those guys by next year, maybe. But my point is, we're talking about him going to play in Philly because we're infatuated with their young team right now. Not because and they, they have not money. just that. And, and they, they have, have money. money. Correct. So where and do you see him going? I see him staying in Cleveland. So I. To be honest, there's not so a lot LA's of great over? options is for LA LeBron over James. Now like, even Lonzo? Cleveland isn't a great option. They've got so much well, money tied up with Tristan, so right. much money tied up with Jared Smith, which LeBron, all clutch sports people, sort of forced the franchise to. Kevin Love tied up there. Like there aren't a lot of great options. We also, for him there next aren't year. a lot of great options, but we have to pay attention to Houston as well. All right, to see what they can do, to see what their monetary situation is like. Because they got to resign Chris Paul because you know he ain't going there unless they made him some promise that they're going to take care of him. The man walked away from $200 million. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just because I didn't want to play with Doc Rivers. You know, somewhere along the line, they had to say to him, this $32 million that so, you got coming, you know, you're going to have a lot. At more. some point, LeBron's going to get old, but you guys are sleeping on the LeBron effect on any franchise. If LeBron went to the New York Knicks today, okay. they okay. would likely get out of the East, him and Porzingis and some other complimentary players. LeBron's effect on a team is unlike anyone else's. He could take any team in the East and their contenders. And if you have another franchise caliber player, even emerging, they're going to get out of the East if they have LeBron. I, just I agree with Andrew and LeBron on the that. same team. That's what I want. I, 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 like that. I, I agree. Make it Eastern Conference Finals. Make the NBA Finals. But we're not talking about um, winning the championship. That's right. That's right. And that's what LeBron yeah. has an opportunity to do with the cast that he has in Cleveland that's right. versus leaving well, that Well, the question is, do you think that cast is going to remain intact after this season? I think They're so. If up. he stays, I think people have underestimated how good Isaiah Thomas is at basketball. No, 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 we got to no, see I, him back. No, 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 we got to no, see what he looks like when I don't. Back. Isaiah Thomas is the real deal, and I think he's going to bode well. My question is whether or not he's going to get the money he wants from Cleveland, Cleveland. And that's where the problem lies. The reason he's on the team is because he makes 6.8 or something right now. Yeah, yeah but you can grandfather him and his bird rights and everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 gentlemen. They want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you, you guys for having me. We appreciate you. ESPN2, the podcast, all that good Thank stuff. Thank God you didn't walk on this set with them glasses. Oh. <laughs>